Hello, this is our um, little update video on our non-fiction book writer. So there's another video on how to use it. This is just some new features that we've added that I wanted to run through with you. Uh, so the first one you may be able to see the model is set to Turbo now, which is ChatGPT 3.5. Um, so it's 10 times cheaper than the DaVinci model. So you should be able to, I haven't worked out properly, but you should be able to write a whole book um, for somewhere between $1.50 and $2 is quite cheap. Um, it's a little bit slower than the other model, um, but yeah, big difference in price. Um, the quality of the content seems good with the model. It does write slightly different from DaVinci, um, but seems quite snappy. So it's kind of like, why dieting hasn't worked for you on this keto diet one that I've done? Um, and some of the cool bits in the chapter or bits that sound quite good. Sounds more kind of human, I think, so carbs aren't the enemy and stuff like that. So quite creative copy there. Um, yeah, and as I say, cheap, <laughs> which is always good. Um, so that's the first change. Um, the second change is we have done something to try and speed it up, which is quite helpful with this one being a bit slower. Um, so on these ones where it's writing a lot of content, this is the main chapter content. Um, you can see there it's quite a lot. It actually does multiple API calls. Um, we've set it up in a way where it does all the calls at the same time. Um, you still have to wait for OpenAI to get back, but it's, it's a bit faster, basically, so you're not waiting as long. Um, for it to do these big blocks um, that normally take quite a while. Um, the Turbo model seems to be retaining more content as well, which is cool. So these ones, they're typically like two and a half thousand words with DaVinci, but they've been coming in kind of, this book's four or five thousand words per, just for that one section of the chapter. Uh, so yeah, quite big, which is good as well. Um, so yeah, that was the second feature, the um, speeding it up basically. And then the third feature that we've added, which should fire in a second, um, is to restart the script every six minutes. So the original version you had to, um, it would stop after six minutes and you'd have to go in and restart it again. So we've built something that uh, tries to restart it automatically every six minutes. Um, so you'll see the bars disappeared there from the top. You'll get a message here. This is like your status update block that says it's restarting. And then after about a minute, it, it should change to say it's restarted and it's running in background mode. So in background mode, you won't see the bar at the top that you normally see, uh, but the cells will just be filling in basically. So you'll still, you'll just see whatever you're up to, you'll just see content appearing in those empty blocks um, as it updates. Um, and then yeah, it'll carry, it should just keep doing that every six minutes, hopefully until it's finished the book. And um, if you do want to pause it whilst it's running in background mode, um, we've built a little thing there, so stop background one. And what it will do, it still finishes the block that it started. So if it's working on this one, it'll finish that one. So it might be like a minute before it actually stops and then it stops. Um, yeah, so that hopefully, um, yeah, that will make things a lot easier for people. <laughs> Here you go, so it's just changed now. So now it's running in background mode, so and it should just keep doing that. And if you do have any problems or you want to check, or you want to have a look under the hood, um, you go to extensions and then app script. Uh, so that's all the code, but over here, you, oh, let's see if I can move it across a bit so you can see it. Um, you will either see a trigger, which is that means it's set to start in six minutes time, that trigger. Um, no, it's better. Okay. But yeah, if it's, as long as that line's there, that means it's scheduled to start again six minutes. So it's scheduled the next start already. And the, under executions, um, you can see that it's running. So it's been running. We started 44 seconds ago. It's still running. And it's got the next one to start in the next six minutes already scheduled. So that means it's all working basically as it should. It's running in background mode successfully. Um, so I can leave that. It's it work better if you kind of leave the sheet open on your computer and on this tab. So don't try not to go into the other tabs just in case it restarts just as you happen to be on another tab and tries to run the code on the wrong tab and things like that. So we just leave it open because obviously you can still go into other windows and carry on using your computer or minimize or whatever. And it will just keep doing going until it's finished your story, hopefully. Um, but yeah, it is, I think it is better if you keep an eye on it, make sure it's, it's you know, you're happy with the content it's producing and things like that. Um, a little thing I think some people didn't realize is you can change all this as it's working on the book as well. Um, so at any time you can kind of pause it or if you're quick enough whilst it's still running, um, you can go in, you can change the, the ideas for the chapters. So you change the chapter list 
Um, and you can change the plans for the chapter, so you can change the sections and the subsections, or even just delete the one that you don't like and then restart it and fill in the gap and have another attempt. Um, but if you want to make the book your own, just go in and change these to whatever you want, and it will it will run with it basically. It'll turn that into a book for you. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's the, the free main points, uh, the free updates. Um, so yeah, it's all updated on the website. So if you go, you may have the download link if you got an email. It depends when you downloaded it. You may have any download link in the email, or just go back to the site and sign up again. You'll be able to download it. Um, yeah, and use these new features. It'll help you churn out the books a bit quicker. Thank you. Hope you find it useful.